think that did to every gay teacher, every gay custodian, every gay worker in this city, every gay kid? What do you think that did to them? It made them afraid. It made them afraid. How dare you make them afraid because you are. And I don't seek to be respectable. I'm not asking y'all for anything because y'all can't and won't be both my savior and my oppressor. Um, I don't want reform. I want to turn this building into luxury, low-cost housing. These will make some really nice apartments to me. When you start outlawing books because of your personal <coughs> religious and moral beliefs in this country, you're, you're going against the Constitution. You're going against what we were founded for. This is a show, and I'm embarrassed for this board. Let's admit it. You're bigots. It's okay. It's not okay, but that's your life and that's your choices. But I need you to understand, don't come and tell us, oh, no, no, I don't, I don't mind. And look at how they always phrase it like, I don't mind. Like, oh, thank you, we appreciate it. I, no, I don't mind gay people or trans people, no, no, no. I just don't, I just don't want them to you know, like read books or something and, and be in public or something. I, I, you know, and they're always flaunting things. Uh, yeah, straight people are never flaunt anything, right? They never kiss in public, they never hold hands in public. It's that, no, guys, it's super obvious. Sex ed, we've been teaching sex ed for decades in this country. All of a sudden, they're like, oh, LGBTQ people are also in there? And they acknowledge their existence in those books? Oh No, that's it. Just admit that you're doing this because of hate. I want to be very, very, very clear. Nobody has to accept me. I'm not looking for your acceptance. But you better treat me the same way you treat everybody else. That's how we live in this country. You don't have to love me, you don't have to like me, you can think I'm the devil incarnate. But you better treat me like a decent human being because that's how I treat you even though you don't believe that I have the right to exist. Three days of yelling and screaming about this, what do you think that did to them? What do you think that did to every gay teacher, every gay custodian, every gay worker in this city, every gay kid? What do you think that did to them? It made them afraid. It made them afraid. How dare you make them afraid because you are. I'm sorry, I told you this was personal. I went through with this. My son was harassed because he had two mommies, but my grandchildren aren't. That's progress. And those families are never not going to exist. The difference is that people are either gonna sit at that podium and protect those families, mm -hmm. or they're gonna sit at that podium and tear those families apart and put some in prison, force some through gay conversion therapy, marginalize them and make their lives even harder than they already are. How do I know that they're hard? Look at how everybody else is acting around them on the yeah. right, right now, horrible. Firstly, stop using black children as photo opportunities because they're cute now, but in 10 years, they're black male suspect in red shirts and khaki shorts. Eating cookies and drinking milk with children does not absolve you of your complicity in their oppression and denigration, Rick Smith. Because Kansas City will spend more on police than education and then try to encourage children to feast with their oppressors. Y'all are really weird. It's asinine to be called radical or homegrown terrorists for not wanting government employees to kill citizens in any instance. So I'm not here begging anything of soulless white folks and self-preserving black folks. You get one life and you all in this room have chosen profits over people and that's the fires me up. I want to watch her video every morning. <laughs> I feel like I need it. I need it. What she did there, like she spoke obviously from the heart. But she put things, she was clear, she, she kept it simple. And a statement like that, it speaks to people, like it spoke to me. Y'all are weird. Police have become part of a system of protecting the inequality that we see every single day. That there's an issue involving gentrification. The reason why the cops in Louisville, Kentucky were so obsessed in doing these raids in that area 
was because they were trying to clean that area in their eyes, clean that area out because it's being gentrified. They gotta get it ready for people who are ready and willing to spend who knows how much money on the luxury condos or apartments that are about to be built or have been built. It's what we've seen in so many major cities across the country. What we're seeing is brutality toward people who have lived in these communities for their entire lives, for generations. And they get pushed out thanks to so-called opportunity zone projects that Donald Trump helped fund, which end up being nothing more than giant tax shelters for real estate developers and more of Donald Trump's goons and friends.